this is how you find your model make as a just little settings general about and model which is this one <coughs> hi guys just he I'm here bringing you the new 4.0 beta jailbreak for iPod touch 2G MC models and iPhone 3G uh, this beta jailbreak only works for these two models and nothing else as it is a beta so the proper jailbreak is not out yet but this one is seeming to work pretty good if you do have an iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G MC model uh, right now I've not encountered any problems but it will be prone to a lot of problems so if you feel confident enough to try this then don't hesitate well, all the downloads will be in the underbar and let's get to the tutorial. Right now, you should have downloaded the uh, two downloads in the underbar which is iPod 4.0 firmware and well, whatever firmware you're going to use and the Red Snow 0.9.5 beta. Right now, this is pretty the common part, open up iTunes, plug in your iPod, hold shift, restore and find your 4.0 firmware that you've downloaded and just let iTunes do its thing right now. As I say it's only the beta jailbreak so you might not want to do it just yet. Right now I'm just preparing my iPod for a restore and just going to wait till it sets itself in a 4.0 firmware and then we'll take it from there. Later on in the video we'll be showing you through the iPod as mine is already jailbroken. This was done last night so I have um, the end screen view and just later in the video for you. So guys, my pod, the thing is just finished getting put in at 4.0 firmware. Now I'm just going to um, back this up from my other backup with all the songs and everything. So for some reason, my backups never like back up my games or anything or apps. So I don't know what's going on there. So. I'm just going to skip this bit out and get to the jailbreak. Alright guys, I thought I'd just take the time to show you what I meant by not doing this if you're not confident. So my pod is okay now, so I'm just going to show you. This is the download page for Red Snow that you, you're probably already on, may have already read, but here are the two downloads, Mac or Windows or whatever. Um, I just want you to read this page and make sure before we start the jailbreak or whatever that you are confident and want to do this. If you're a pretty keen user, just do this, there's no problem. You can get it back on it anyway by shift restore and 3.1.3 with the spirit jailbreak system. So right now, I'm just going to start the jailbreak. I opened up Red Snow, it's not very hard to do that. Just your download and open it up, extract it or whatever. Um, get the exact same firmware that you used for the iTunes part. It's a process firmware. Right now, just plug in your iPods, no point. Right, so here it has to be an MB model. I think I said before MC, so damn. <laughs> So it has to be MB model, cannot be MC model. So if you're running on an MC model, don't do this. If you're running on an MB, when that pop-up comes up, just say no, because you're not running an MC. Just read it carefully. 
So right now just make sure you've got the install Cydia, enable multitasking, enable home screen wallpaper and enable battery percentage if you want that. And then right now I'm going to make a custom logo. Well that's what I've done. Um, and I'm just going to put that one in. Well I was looking for some. And just type in custom bit logo into Google and then you get some there. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead with the jailbreak. If you've got everything you want, just remember this, the picture of custom bit logo has to be 320 by 480 pixels. So right now, you have to plug in your iPod, make sure it's plugged in to your computer and switch it off. Hold the power button and make sure it's switched off. Then you can only click next. This is me just reading straight from the red snow beta. There's nothing big about this just follow the whole procedure I'm just giving you a helping hand so right now I messed this up so I had to click back so what you want to do is hold the corner the top hold the power button first of all for three seconds then hold the home button that's the middle sort of circular button on your iPod for ten seconds and then you want to hold and then release the corner button which is the power button at the top you just release that but keep holding the middle button for 30 seconds and you need to keep holding it until you see keep holding it when you're here keep holding it and just keep holding it until you see the little picture come up on your iPod so don't let go yet so when it says waiting just look, keep looking at your iPod until you see the RAM disk picture. When you see that, just let go home button. It'll be okay then. So now it's just uploading the RAM disk. That's probably when the RAM disk picture comes up. And yeah, that's my custom bit logo. Alright guys, so this is my iPod jailbroken. Um, the video sort of cut off, but all it all does then it just finishes. You just press done and what it will do is just reboot hopefully reboot your iPod and you'll see um, Cydia on you just scroll over and it'll be there I've already sorted the mines out, I've already done some things but um, you'll be at the stage where you just open up Cydia and you let it reorganize itself I'm just going to show you Cydia working um, right now, so, well, my idea is just normal because I've already reorganized it and stuff. So what you're going to do is just open it up, it'll reorganize itself, open it back, say you're a user. And that's it, just get cracking with adding sources and getting packages. Uh, I've been fiddling about with it, Winterboard does work. Installus seems to be working. It's quite good.